Tell me this person is so grand. I doubt. Did you see the I way? I doubt. Like the person is still flying. This is him bro. right here. Unless I'm very he, much he, mistaken, Mark. everybody welcome and welcome back again to my amazing space on the internet it's a girl cynthia and michelle hi okay guys so in today's video we're going to be looking at the isle of man city world's most dangerous motorcycle race like how dangerous can this race be i'm sure it definitely was deadly i mean you've you've watched like motorcycle races you know mm -hmm. on espn and the rest and you see them going zoom zoom like and then in microseconds like, yeah just and then when you, you see the crashes you're like psh, psh, and like oh my god like you're wondering do these people actually survive then now yeah. we are watching the, the world's most dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> i mean guys okay guys so without further ado let us get right into this reaction video Yes, it's film. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Your wildest dreams to think that you could come here and race a motorcycle. The old man TT is like a religion. It's the oldest motorcycle race in the world. You can stand on the footpath and you could literally reach out and touch the riders going past at close to 200 miles an hour. Like in microseconds, you're just so fast. The houses are passing you so quick, sometimes it feels like this you're inside a video fast. game. Like anything in your way, you're just going to mm -hmm. crash. You don't even bother. <coughs> exactly. It's frightening. It is. It's damn dangerous and it stresses me out. Mm, a loving memory, okay. Tell me this person is so grand. I doubt. Did you see the way? I doubt. Like the person is still flying. This is him bro. right here. Unless I'm very he, much he, mistaken, Mark, this is the greatest motorsport event in the world. My question is, why do people still do this? Yes. Exactly. Like I think, like people, people that do this whole motorcycle racing, like speed. Motorcycle, kind of. Sport. I feel like they are adrenaline junkies because why would you? know that you may not survive. there is a possibility yes. like do you Can understand you like i legitimately i legitimately it. feel like formula one car riders like they have like better um what do you call this thing um precautionary measures when their car crashes probably they should have like airbags yeah you know, or something extinguishers that, that you know come immediately but motorcycle like once once you are off you are off like you're off just get ready for fractures and um, what skull crushing like Jeez. The ultimate one, which is instant death. Yes, exactly. I, and there's nothing like there's nothing. I feel like there's nothing padding their body from all these. No, things, I think like, there's something like all those things they wear. They obviously wear. would have like. Yeah, but I mean, like but compared to enough. somebody in a car now. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, like. You know, I honestly feel the adrenaline junkies because why would you want to do this to yourself? Okay, maybe we'll find out why they still go ahead I to do, do this, this right? Okay, yeah, let's so go. let's continue. Mm -hmm. Between Ireland and Britain in the Irish Sea sits the Isle of Man. A sleepy tax haven for most of the year. This is, a, mm -hmm. this is like time stamp, right? Mm -hmm. See how that is. I've come here to witness the most dangerous road race on Earth. The most dangerous road race on Earth. It's about 200 kilometers an hour, straight at the front here. Absolute lunacy. I want to find out what drives these riders to test themselves and their machines. Your question is being asked here. Mm -hmm. The TT, tourist trophy. There's a lot to get right and a lot that can go wrong, so it, it is part sprint race part endurance race and it's a time trial so it's so unique see 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 Peter used to say that great race tracks have got consequences like anything that the goes Island wrong Man it's TT like it's over. is the mm. ultimate road course 
Lord, the it's Jesus. the fastest, wildest, and most dangerous racetrack I've ever seen. And for the riders that compete here, there is absolutely no room for error. Like, there can't be any room hey, for error. Geez. This one was trying to what? find its balance. In its 104 oh years, God. 234 riders have died. 234 riders have died. This is riders riders have died. motor racing is but dangerous. People still go this there. is dead set dangerous, isn't it? It is. It really <coughs> is. It's, uh, it's frightening. Aussie rider Cameron Donald. So this person is going to tell us more about the race. Yeah, I think. Kind of. Yeah. So nice let's see. Oh, I think it's even even. I think, I think he's, he's a rider, right? Mm -hmm. See. Is one of over 200 starters this year. And when you add the fans, it's like an invasion. With Cameron is his girlfriend Karen, herself a keen motorcyclist. They've been planning for the race all year. So is this normal nervous start um, tension? Kind of is. Normal is just done the night before. Is it? Or late night last night, obviously. Yeah, Usually we like to have this done the night before, everything but by the time we finish, like I'm gonna get out of here and fly over tomorrow. So what's Karen's job in this world? Um, keep me calm. <laughs> we were born without time. That's a dirt bike. Cameron grew up in Warrandyte in Victoria. It was his dad, Ken, who introduced him to the thrill of the two-wheeler. Lots of bike photos, not, not many other ones. <laughs> we <laughs> didn't show any of time, didn't it? <laughs> it, did. it took up a lot of time. From a young age, Cameron began winning and winning. I remember Mum actually saying to me, you know, you can't, when you're going to buy or build a house, you can't live in a motorbike. I remember I saying to her, yeah, Mum, you can't race a house, so... Oh. I don't know how I'm feeling like, am I even ready to watch this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the both of us. <laughs> I'm ready okay. for the both of us. <sighs> My days. Oh okay. yeah, let's continue. I think then she just uh, pretty much gave up. <laughs> the TT is held over a fortnight. One week for practice, one week for racing, seven races in all. Mm. Seven and so in you between, get to reach the public can go flat times. out. No speed limit on the island road course. Everyone that races here knows the dangers and they accept them and they do their best to ride accordingly. But I think it's sad in this world that we're all so wrapped in cotton wool these days and there's so few opportunities to do anything dangerous. <laughs> For Cameron, a plumber when he's not racing, there's no event bigger than this. I mean, do they get paid for this? A 10 second I think they do, obviously. It's all about the fastest but is it the even what That's it's... what makes it so pure and so dangerous. You sit on the start line, you're looking like this. down that first hill and uh, because it's so not a mass start, you're control. sitting there getting waved off one at a time. The, the pressure Maybe on you, you know, everyone's racing, looking at you, and it's uh, it's a rush I've never had out of any other any other race. You see, I don't have any rush. See, yeah, you said it. There's just uh, so few events in the world where we can do such a thing. You know, where you can close okay, off a road and, and race a motorbike around. Confused, it's like, how, like, such a beautiful thing. At some point, thing. I'll start seeing double. Hmm? Because I don't know which one is the road and which one is just a <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> right. Over 200 corners to be negotiated. Top speed, 330 kilometers an hour. This isn't a track. <laughs> this, is a, this is a country road. Like, let's not get this wrong. And it's fast. My friend and five times world champion, Mick Doohan, has come here for the first time. It's sort of madness, you know. He's not racing, but on the parade lap, he got a taste of what it's like. First reaction. As soon as you saw the place, looked around, what was your first reaction? Yeah, I didn't need to come here to have that reaction. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, as I say, this, it, it, it really, you know, the, it is absolutely just beyond your wildest dreams to think that you could come here and race a motorcycle. The race has always yeah. had its critics. But from the start, its danger was its attraction. Back then, racing yeah. was banned in England, and the island was the only place where there were no speed limits. The TT was born. 
the voice of motorsport, Murray Walker. You've got a great history here, haven't you? You've been how many years? First of all, let me say it's great to see a great Australian at a great race. Uh, to answer your question, Mark, I first came here in 1925. I was born in 1923. Uh, my father won here. I don't know how many times I've been here. Many, many, many times. <laughs> I mean, you get to see many people there as well. Good riders. And impressing him this year is our Aussie rider, Cameron. He's got a good bike, he's got some good backing, and he's still got the most important race of the week to come. It's so maybe that's a bit get it done. <laughs> Each time Cameron sets out is an exercise in courage. Each lap is an anxious one for Karen, who gets radio updates on his progress. I see the worry in her face before I head out for a race and sometimes I feel a little bit guilty for putting people close to me through that stress. Don't stop. In the week I was there, seven people lost their lives. Three riders and four members of the public. ACU Events Limited regret to announce Wait, that three riders and four members of the public. So even you well, that you have that are coming to watch, watch there's a the risk in your life. The man, and I do think of them in the corners that they've uh, they've fallen in. And because like when the when the bike crashes, right? It, it may could splash spin on off. You. Yes, could spin off and hit some eye. Just imagine you spent your own money to go and die. Yes, <laughs> no, like, you paid for your own death. Yeah. <laughs> like, because I know you, you must. Cost because why a can't lot you sit down? Watch this. Yes. Why can't you sit down in your house and watch it from and watch TV? It, yes. Or even if you must go there, take like the highest seat far away from the track. But, so what's not the point? Of going there, they sit to your house. <laughs> they sit to your house. Why are you spending money to go and kill yourself? <laughs> and obviously to watch this so is like, not cheap. Even the, like, the audience, more of the audience even die more than the racers. More than the said. racers, yes. That's what it means. <sighs> Let's get right into the video. Okay. Uh, where Dobsy crashed is one of the most intense. <laughs> riders heads this far from a stone wall you know obviously the reason you love those photos is you think oh my god it's so close you know that's um it's it's you know other people have said that you only really know that you're alive when you're almost not hmm. that's a question like was she compensated for his death yeah. did he die for his country or he died for <laughs> for his father he <laughs> how is he going how is she going to be compensated there is no compensation in this. You died, you died. There is no compensation. What? 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 Okay. All right. Let's Google it. She googled it. A relative has died in a motorbike accident. Can I claim compensation? Relative of a diseased motorcyclist are permitted to make a claim for compensation against the person who caused the accident. The accident. Who caused exactly? So you take for example, maybe they're getting close to another person, mm. and then let's say. They get too close and they're getting to a bend and then this other person is this person. So the person that was hit is the person that can claim, you know, money For from the... Yes, do you understand? Not that on their own they will crash and die. Who are they going to... Who are, where is the claim going to come? Is it going to come from the ground? <laughs> or the people that organize the event? Yeah, like maybe people that organize the event. Okay, what are they meant to do? Maybe like give the family money to continue from somewhere uh, because the family didn't know that this thing they are coming to come and do is a risk and they can either <sighs> live or die they don't get compensated i don't think they do what if the owner of a motorcycle died and still not completed the payment maybe they pay them okay let's continue some are just plain lucky 
to survive. Like oh, Connor it's Cummins. It's I can actually see, you know, where it's all gone wrong. I've disappeared over the side and the way I look at it, that's where, you know, the injury Buzzes. started to happen and it's sort of it does get you a little bit. We'll just get on with life. <laughs> we're really gonna stop for me. Has your opinion of oh, the this TT is the person that changed based Maybe the mm -hmm. person we just watched now that's long given. Yeah. Huh? This him limping no. mm -hmm. now. Think Do you think it should that. be banned? You can't possibly ban it. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't... I think it should be banned, banned though. It. Yes. It's like a monster, you know? It's, it's bigger than the rest of us. Exactly, you can't ban it. People will still do it. Yeah, people will still do it, but Riders I really think you should ban it because lives are money. lost. There's hardly any. The TT is simply about the glory of being the fastest. It's and for Cameron, it was a glorious week. In his chosen race, the Superbikes, he was just pipped for first. But second, still felt pretty good. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Really good, huh? When will you settle down? Stop doing this. Oh, he don't went see it too far away. I never Lucky saw racing the island as a long-term prospect because, look, it is so dangerous, and I do see it as a numbers game. If you keep coming back, sooner or later, um, I see it's going to catch you out. Okay. So he knows. He knows that, he you know, death. eventually you can die from the game. That's this, it. This uh, is one dangerous game I do not want to be associated <laughs> with. Sports. I'm telling you because why will I want to do this? I look how they said that there's little or no pay. That's why he's also a plumber. If it was a full time gig, like Formula One drivers, or people that go for Grand Prix in uh, Monte Carlo and the rest of those countries, mm -hmm. they are paid well. So it is professional. Like they devote their life to it because they will get paid. They will get compensated. So there's little or no pay. So in this particular there's even, one, there's even like a chance that they don't even pay them at all. Exactly. Course. Maybe probably what they should be feeding off of maybe endorsements from maybe brands that want to work with them or oh. maybe make them ambassadors and all that for yeah. their brands you know well it, i mean it's not like football that i mean i don't i don't mean nigerian for i mean proper soccer football like I rugby call them. rugby like those ones that they would hold the ball the ball is in a okay, 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 okay. yeah because okay, that was okay, also okay, a okay. deadly sport those people they pay them heavily wow. those ones and they mix martial artists because uh a lot a lot goes into those ones Casualties, right? mm -hmm. yes now you could die from any game man. oh my goodness mm -hmm. i up till now i don't understand why the glory of being the fastest racer we want to make you go and risk your life. And kill yourself off. Just for the glory. Just for the glory. Even oh, well, for the money, I can't understand it. Well. Even for the money, I won't risk my life. No, I won't, but I can't understand. Yeah, you can't understand. I can't understand, but I mean... Like, there's so many things he asks. Is this person sure this is what this person wants to do? And at the end of the day, you see a lot of people doing that same exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. Well, oh well guys we've come to the end of the video let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and yes beautiful people if you liked this video don't forget to give it a fat thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to this beautiful channel okay and also don't forget to click the bell just beside the subscribe button so anytime <laughs> i upload a video like this one you definitely be the first one, okay? Alright guys, with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. <laughs>